At the Office of the Virgin Reentry, community health workers provide peer support and advocacy to people with justice involvement. They are the backbone of the Reentry Intensive Case Management Service Program, using a whatever it takes approach to support their clients. My name is Henry Braddon. I work for the Office of Diversion and Reentry, specifically RICMS, Reentry Intensive Case Management Services Program. I oversee eight community-based organizations, as well as the California Department of Corrections CDCR Referral Program. My name is Tony Michelle White. I am a CHW here at WLCAC, the Reentry Program. A CHW is a community health worker who works intensively with clients who have been released from incarceration. We work to provide a safe environment that they can come and have a conversation with us about their needs. Everyone needs someone to talk to. It's peer mentorship. Almost everybody that works here has been in their exact position in the past. The only reason that we exist here is to try to be a bridge of support for them, to walk side by side with them. So I'll kind of try to find out what kind of setting they would be most comfortable in and then come up with a solution that works for them and try to provide some hope and that it is possible to recover. Uh, and there's a lot of resources in LA County that we have access to as community health workers that we can help clients directly with that. Everyone that's been incarcerated doesn't necessarily fit working with other just involved people. And what I went through while I was inside helped me to understand individuals that are in that needed situation. And I just help them out the best I can. I meet my clients where they at. Whether it's a bridge, a tent, apartment building, or on the side of the road. And in doing so, I try to help develop a, help develop them into the picture that they see themselves. Well, to me, it means a lot to be a CHW. The difference between, you know, winning and not and losing. Personally, uh, I'm a second time offender. I went from parole from prison and was out looking for a job. And a lot of the resource centers at that time didn't deal with individuals that had a background. So no matter what the job was, you were turned down as soon as they found out that you had a background. And I didn't have a CHW. I didn't have no one to advocate for me to help me navigate through systems that I wasn't aware of or just didn't know how to navigate through. Eventually I got caught up and uh, I ended up doing a life sentence. Uh, that's when I changed my life for the better. I refused to be the person I once was. And coming home, you know, with this new outlook on life and being able to be a CHW, to being able to be the person that I needed in my life that I didn't have then and do it for others meant a lot to me. One of the best parts of this job is that I am able to share my um, personal experience with clients. A little over a year ago, I was in downtown LA. I was homeless. I was addicted to drugs. I was unemployable and basically unable to care for myself. I had lost hope that I could have a life again, but having a social worker who was able to be present with me, that's important. And she looked into my eyes and she said, I really think you should give yourself a chance today. And I carry that with me. And I try to use that, her example. At the age of 19, I was arrested. And I was a new mother, a single mother at, to be exact. And I found it hard to put food on the table for my daughter. I, um, I chose to create an income by selling drugs and I was arrested and I was um, facing three years in prison which was hard for me because my mother had spent a lot of time in prison and I found myself following in her footsteps and I didn't want that for my child. Staying in my daughter's life allowed my daughter to grow up and um, enlist in the United States military. And I'm a proud mother of a United States nuclear power electrician who at 32 years old is retired.
without ODR, without being a community health worker, without Center for Living and Learning and this opportunity, I don't think that I would have stayed sober. I don't think I would have had a chance to go back to graduate school. I'm gonna to go to CSUN in the fall. I got into their master's in social work program. And all of that actually really started from that social worker saying to me, I think you should give yourself a chance today. 11 years ago, I ran into society. Fortunately, I had family support to help minimize the stress in their reintegration process. Most justice involved folks don't. The Reentry Intensive Case Management Service Program is the vehicle that will help people become whole again.